No matter what you do, there's something that ChatGPT can help you with. However, ChatGPT is particularly useful for YouTubers. There are some prompts that will dramatically increase the quality of your content and the quantity that you can produce. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the 10 best ChatGPT prompts all YouTubers need to be using. I go through these in the order that you would create your video, so watch it from the beginning to end and let me know at the end if there's any that you think that I missed. All right, let's get into it. I'll show you them one by one. Number one, topic and keyword research. You can type something like, give me some ideas for YouTube videos about coaching Little League Baseball. All right, so now we have a big amount of different options. Let's say that I like one of these. Let's say that I like game strategy. I could say, expand on number five and give me 10 different video titles. Pretty cool. Moving on to number three, thumbnail design ideas. ChatGPT doesn't do design or create any sort of media yet, but what it can do is give you ideas for what it should look like. So if I have a YouTube video topic, I can ask them to give me a thumbnail design. Like in this one, I said, give me an idea for a YouTube thumbnail for the video above. And they gave me this. A thumbnail image of a product with a tag or a sticker on it that says new or bestseller and a graphic of a rocket taking off a graph showing sales or revenue growth or a person holding a smartphone with the Amazon logo on it, browsing and adding items to the cart with a caption or a title, unleash the power of Amazon on the top. Pretty cool. I like that. And also if you want, you can ask it for a mid journey style prompt. That one's a little hit or miss, depending on how good you are at creating prompts in mid journey, you might be able to find something with that. Number four, content outline creation. This one's pretty straightforward. Say, give me an outline for a YouTube video titled, unleash the power of the Amazon PPC, boost your Amazon FBA sales now. And it's gonna give me this. You can go off with that. Keep in mind guys, this is a recipe for average content. Use this as a starting point. Don't just use this as your end point. If you do, your content is not gonna be great. It'll be content, but it's not gonna be awesome. If you want great content, go beyond these outlines. Number five, make introductions for your videos. The intro is critical. Mine aren't great, but ChatGPT is helping me make them a little bit better. Usually start by giving it my introduction and then asking it to make it a little bit better. Just give ChatGPT the title of your video and maybe a little bit more about what it's about. Remember the more detail you get, the better the output's gonna be. And then see what you get. Be sure to read it and make sure it's in your tone of voice. It can come off really robotic if you just copy what it gives you. Number six, turn YouTube transcriptions into blog posts. This one is so cool. If you are able to get your transcription, you can just paste it into ChatGPT and then ask it to format it as a blog post with headers and all that good stuff. If you want, there is a free Chrome extension that makes getting your transcripts easier and transcripts from any creator. It's called YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. I don't know how it's free, but it's free. Once it's installed in Chrome, you'll see a little action up here. Come here to copy transcript. Then inside of ChatGPT, you'll type something like, I have a transcript for a YouTube video that I want to convert into a blog post. Format it with headings and make it read like it wasn't recorded as a video. Something like that. You can do whatever you want, but I like to add a little bit of extra. Remember, the more we provide it, the better it's gonna be. More information in the prompts, better we're gonna get. All right, there we go. Number seven, ask it for clever hooks. Is there ways to get people to subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah? Pretty simple, I don't know. It's always good to come up with more interesting ways to ask people to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Number eight, promotional content. Once you've published your video, you can say, give me a tweet about blah, blah, blah topic. If you want, you can paste the transcript and say this is what's inside, create something really powerful from it. You can make tweets, you can make emails, you can make Facebook posts, anything that you would create as marketing material you could do with this. Number nine, create chapter timestamps. Timestamps are kind of weird. Getting them set up properly can be a little wonky, but there is a format. And if you ask ChatGPT to create it for you, they'll be able to do it. You just have to paste the transcript with timestamps on it already, but this is gonna add the chapters. So what you need is you just need that tool, that YouTube summary with ChatGPT, 
paste it in there and ask it to break them up into chapters. It's really impressive how smart it is and it can actually tell where chapters should be even if you don't have them on there already. Number 10, create video descriptions from transcripts. I hate writing my video descriptions. I get so lazy for some reason because I've been working really hard on the video and then like that last part, I just don't want to do it. This is a good way to get a really good video description without driving yourself insane. Definitely still read through it, but if you give it your transcript, it will know exactly what the video is about and it will describe it in a good, clear way. It'll also be keyword rich. Definitely one of my favorite ways to use this. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.